So Nicole, you're here today. Um, how many months after your uh, surgery? Um, it's been what three, four, four months. Four yeah. months. Because we did you in July, and it's almost Christmas, right? Yes. Yes. So you came to me with the problem of heel pain, right? Very badly heel pain, <laughs> especially in the um the, in the right, right. right? Mm -hmm. And you've had it for a long time, right? I have. I had it for. Almost a year. Almost a year. Mm -hmm. So you know how um, I told you that we always try a non-surgical approach, and we've tried like different things, and I think we've tried injections, night splints, everything. Yes. Mm -hmm. And basically, you were not better. And I remember you were like in a lot of pain. We even contemplated doing one foot at a time, right? Right. Right. We were only going to do the one foot, and then next thing you know, the yes. left foot cut off. Cut off. Cut, right. Caught up with um, it. Mm -hmm. So basically. Um, so you're sitting here today and right before Christmas, so how much better are you? I am a lot better. I was a lot better probably a week, maybe less than a week afterwards. I was able to get up and walk on, really did not have any pain, um, still have not had any pain. Um, I've been able to, you know, go to theme parks right. and it's not had any pain at night time, so it's it really did work mm -hmm. for me. So for people who suffer with plantar fasciitis, and you know how, I don't know how you found me, but I know a lot of people who come for a 10 jet or 10 X procedure, mm -hmm. they find me online. Mm -hmm. uh, like, would you recommend it? I will. I've been trying to fight my daughter to get in here okay. because she has feet problems. She's complaining of it and we are just alike. So mm -hmm. um, I even told her today, <laughs> I'm here. You want me to make your appointment? And she's like, let's wait until after Christmas. Right. Yeah. So, um, you know. Well, I think that the general fear is people think that, um, oh my God, it's like a huge operation and mm -hmm. I'm going to be cut on. And you know how, especially younger people, right? Yeah. They're scared. But you had like a small stab incision. You didn't even have any stitches, right? And right. You were in and out within a couple of hours from the surgery mm -hmm. center. So I think that, well, the reason why I'm doing this video is that I think the message is not to wait. If it's something that interferes with your lifestyle, I think it should be fixed. Yeah, right? I definitely recommend you get it done. Um, so like would you do both feet at the same time again? I, I would. I would. Okay. I would. Um, it was a very, like you said, simple procedure. Mm -hmm. um, there was no cuts, no, um, you know, no, no pain afterwards. Right. And we didn't sever the tendon that supports mm -hmm. the arch, which is probably the most important part of the whole process. Right. Because before it was either we cut the plantar fascia completely, or you live with the pain. Yeah. So I think that's why this procedure was so revolutionary mm -hmm. because it preserved the anatomical alignment of the foot. Right. Yeah. So well, I would thank you so much. I would definitely recommend it. Yes. I I do. Talk about it when people ask me, you know, I'm gonna have foot surgery, and then you know, right. of course, I did break my yeah, arms, right. and um, they they ask about how that procedure goes, and I went into detail and explained it, and they're really you know fascinated by it, you know, um, so I definitely recommend it. Right. Too, so. Well, thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> since you had two feet done at the same time, <laughs> it's always usually one. Yeah. Yes, but I think in your situation, we made the right decision. Right. It yeah. takes a little bit longer just because you don't have a good foot and a bad foot, mm -hmm. but you know you don't want two trips to be operating. Right. I mean, it gets yeah. expensive too. Yeah, so. it does.